Hey guys, hey Gleam Skull Beauty, you beat me to it. <laughs> How did you hop on so fast? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm having crazy hair today. I don't know what is going on with this pregnancy and my hair texture changing. So if it gets unruly, I'm so sorry. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna get a sip of my water while I wait for everyone to hop on and then we'll get right into the class. I'm really excited about today because we have a, um, a cool technique that I wanna show you. I did the, a video on it years ago, but I wanna do it live for you all today so you can see how it works. So, hi, Rap Queen. Hi, Jessica. Marlo Keenan. Hi, Christina. Hey, guys. Happy Thursday. Thank God it's almost Friday. <laughs> hi, Grace. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You guys, I did spray tanning last night, so I'm looking very tan today. This is not natural. I live in Washington, let's face it. I barely get any vitamin D here, so I did a spray tan last night. And this is what we got. It's kind of close to my hair color, but we're going to work with it today. <laughs> so anyways, you know what I'm going to do really quick for you guys? I'm going to show you how to highlight um, while I wait for everyone to get on. And then we're going to talk about eye shapes today. And then we're also going to do the upside down cat eyes, which is a really cool technique. It's very edgy, very fun and different. So what I'm going to do, let me highlight under here because I am so dark compared to my normal skin color. Hi, tailored. T.O., I'm feeling better. I'm a, a little extra winded today. The baby grew a lot this week. Um, I won't give you guys the stomach view every time. I feel like it's overkill. Next week, I'll show you the stomach, but I grew a lot this week. And so I'm very winded today. So I'm extra winded because baby is definitely gotten big. I don't know what happened overnight, it felt like. Um, and I am struggling. <laughs> so what I'm doing, I'm just going to highlight under here a little bit because I'm noticing that I'm looking a little bit dark, a little bit orange. So let me show you guys a difference. I'm just going to touch up under here. You could do this before or after your eye makeup. I'm going to do it before just so I could fix it now. Do you see how the difference between my face shape changing between here and here. Hi, KD. My due date is on May 12th, but I'm pretty sure it's going to come sooner. Baby's definitely further along than what doctors say. She's, he's pretty good. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take the Dermablend Foundation. This is number 10. What I have on my face now is 25. So I'm going to use 10 as a highlighter and I'm just using a brush like this. This is the It Cosmetics. I'm not sure because it's so well used. It is worn down, <laughs> but it's a nice fluffy brush. And I'm going to do this triangle shape under my eyes just to highlight under here and add more dimension to my face. Now I did put um, a little bit of powder, a little bit of foundation on but this formula is so thin that you can literally put it over anything and it works. So do you see how it kind of brightened my face? But it also changed my face shape. My face looks longer now. And do you guys notice my cheekbones are standing out a little bit because when you highlight in here, it makes your um, cheekbones kind of feel more contoured and pop. It's almost the opposite of contouring. It is highlighting. <laughs> so the bags under my eyes are suitcases, girl, I feel you. I do not get any sleep anymore. So trust me on that one. I'm, I'm in the same boat. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about eye shapes really quick. And I'll answer questions for you guys. And then we're going to get right into our um, upside down cat eyes technique. Excuse all the hair and all of that. Okay, so I've got a visual for you guys. We are going to do, I wanna go over some different eye shapes today and I'm going to do a very detailed class on this in the next month or so. I just wanna to touch on these a little bit today. So when I'm talking about them, you guys know that um, which eye shape you are. I really want you to figure out which one of these bad boys that your eye shape is because it's going to determine how you do your eye techniques. All of us have like one technique that we love, we go to. For me, it's like dark outer V, shimmer on the lid, a little bit of a wing. I'm good because I know my eye shape really well. So I generally tend to use that, but enough blabbing. <laughs> Let's review them really quickly. So the first one is almond eye shapes. That's the one I have here. It's where it's just a very, um, you know, you have a point that comes down. It's a symmetrical, even type of eye shape and it can kind of come down at the end too. So that's this one here. That is the almond eye shape. If you guys can see that. The next um, set that we have is the wide set eyes. Now wide set eyes is where you have a lot of space in here. 
So if your eyes tend to look like they're a little bit farther apart, that would be wide set eyes. Um, close set is the opposite. Your eyes are a little bit closer together. You have less room in here. So that would be that one. These two are opposite. Round shaped eyes is where your eyes in the center, they round out. So instead of having the almond shape, they're a little bit larger and they're more round in the center. Um, downturned eyes is where the outer point right here, you guys, is lower than this part. So that's a downturn. Um, I'm just going to review these, you guys, and then we'll do actual techniques for each one. But I want you to try to figure out what eye shape are you. That's our goal for today. <laughs> Prominent eyes. This one right here. This is not just big eyes, you guys. This is if your lid and your eye, like if I turn to the side, if it comes out more than the brow bone, that's a prominent eye. So they could be this size, like my eyes aren't very large, but if they were to come out, mine are prominent just a little bit. Do you see how on the side my eyes are out here, but my brow bone is back a little? That's prominent. The opposite of that is going to be the um, deep set eyes in this corner here. Deep set is where your brow bone comes out further than your eyes itself, like your eyes are back a little bit. That is deep set eyes. And then upturned, your eyes are angled up a little bit like this. Big eyes and small eyes, we know what those two are. So that's the chart. So I'm gonna hold this up for a second while I answer questions for you guys, because I see you guys answer, um, talking a lot today. <laughs> but I'm gonna leave this up because I want you, while I'm answering questions, to figure out what eye shape you are. Can you hold up so I can take a picture? Yep, I got you, girl, I got you. Right there. <laughs> Hi from across the pond. I'd like a copy of that sheet. I'm gonna try to, when I do this um, actual class, I'm gonna try to put this on the Makeup Geek site so you guys can um, you know, download it and save it. We'll create a custom one. This one I just pulled off the internet for now just because I wanted to um, show you guys. So has everyone kind of figured out what eye shape you are? Okay, so with that in mind, the technique I'm gonna do today is upside down cat eyes where, um, it's basically, I'm just gonna have to show you. We're just gonna go into it. <laughs> I posted the image on Instagram. So if you wanna check out my personal Instagram, it's on there. <laughs> I've always been told I have big eyes, having a hard time with eyeshadow. I'm definitely going to um, do a specific class and um, we'll I'll take different sets of eyes and I'll show you how to do a different eyeshadow placement, a technique that's the most flattering for every eye shape. So that's coming. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take, yeah, it is possible to have multiple eye shapes for sure. Like mine are almond, but they're also a little bit prominent. So you can have a mixture of a couple too. Okay, so I'm going to take, let me put a little powder on my lid so they aren't greasy at all. So I'm gonna take that same brush that I did my little highlighting um, earlier. <laughs> Hope you and baby are feeling well. Thank you. Baby and I are doing good. I have my uh, ultrasound or my next appointment next week. 27 weeks now so I got 13 more weeks to go but we really do think I'm further along so it may be 15 weeks we'll see we can keep teaching these classes as long as I can we're gonna take some scotch tape and the center of the lid is kind of our point where we're gonna have it connect to the tape so I'm gonna try to show you this placement so the reason why I want to talk to you about the eye shape is this technique works for every eye shape except for the downturn eyes because, wow, this looks really great, you guys. You get to watch me talk like this for a little bit. It looks uncomfortable. It's not, I promise you. <laughs> this works for every shape except downturn, but I'm gonna show you technique. If, do you see how I'm creating a straight line across like this with the tape, but it's touching the lid right here? If you have downturn eyes, pull the tape up a little bit like this so the cat eye is kind of going up. That's going to actually help counteract a downturn eye look. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try it like this for now. When I peel off the tape, um, this is really hard to talk. So let's get moving on this part. <laughs> so I can take this tape off. <laughs> um, so you're going to put the tape across here, come up right here. We're going to take the tape off later. If the shape isn't fitting for my eye, then we can put some more tape back on and adjust it and then go back in with shadow. But I'm going to use the Shades of Fantasy palette today. 
I'll swatch this for you in a second once I get this tape off, but I really want to get this start going so I can take this tape. <laughs> I'm going to take a pencil brush like this. We're going to go in with this bottom purple color. I love this palette so much. It is truly out of the nine sets that we have. Um, this is my favorite nine wall that we have because I love these colors together. It's beautiful. Again, I'll swatch it for you guys. So I'm going to take this bottom one, which I believe is wine and dine. I'm sorry, back to the fuchsia. Back to the fuchsia. Okay, take the pencil brush. We are going to put this along the tape and we're going to come up and brush it out like that. Do you guys see that? So let me take it again. And if you don't like purples or if, you know, when this is done and you feel like, oh, this is too much with the shape and with the color, you can use the same palette and instead of doing purple, do the dark brown. If you want it to be softer, do the cheetah bear, do the, the medium brown. So you have browns in here. You can do the same technique and use different colors. You could use a teal, the green, whichever color that you guys want. I just want this purple because I have brown eyes and I like purples on me. So I'm gonna bring it out along the tape like that. And then we're gonna smoke it under here. And this part's optional. If you want to not smoke it under here, you can skip it and just keep the tape there. Okay, so I'm gonna do that under here a little bit. Let me do the other side. Good Lord, this tape is so uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, so same thing. Bring this in along the tape. And I will be better, you guys, about telling you what the next class is so you can have stuff prepared ahead of time so you can do this live with me. But for now, just take a pencil brush and whatever shadow you want. And we're going to smoke this under here just a little bit too. So easy. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to peel it off. Wish me luck. Let's see how this, this looks. Kind of like that. Hey, Renee. <laughs> I've always been afraid of green and blues on my eyes. It's all honestly about placement. It truly is. Okay, do you see that shape that we just came up with right there? So if you feel like it's not perfect and you're like, oh, I, you know, I want this like right here, the tape, because I have a, um, my eyes kind of go in right here. So what you can do is you could take the pointy Q-tips like this and you can take it in um, some little bit of makeup remover. And what you can do, now what I like to do is put my makeup remover on and I like to really get that point going right there. But don't let, don't let the little, don't let that little bit get you. Let's twist it. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, you're going to, you could clean up in here just like that. Do you see how I'm using that pointy Q-tip to clean up the line a little bit? What you could also do is take on, take a concealer, like a cream concealer, or you guys know I like using the MAC Paint Pot. You can take an angled brow brush, pick it up some of this, and it's close to my skin color. So what you can do is you can go above that line and clean up that way. You can actually leave that. That looks kind of cool. So let's do the other side. Let's leave that. <laughs> okay, let's do this side. If you guys hear um snoring, that's Lady. She does not leave my side. I try to even lock the dogs out when I do these classes and they start scratching and pawing at the door. So I give up and I just let them stay. But then they snore the whole video, so I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Do you see how it can kind of make my eyes look heavy here, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So like I said, if you have town turn eyes, bring the tape up so it comes an angle like this. So now what I'm gonna do to balance this out, we're gonna do lashes and we're gonna do some color in the crease and then I'm gonna do some color in here. So everything up here is gonna balance out how heavy this is right there. But if you feel like your eyes can handle that, boom. That's an instant everyday work makeup look. You could put, you know, maybe a little, flare lashes out here really good mascara it looks really cool but that took what two seconds just tape and some shadow super super easy so you could stop there but let's go on a little bit further okay i'm gonna take a 
Oh, where did my brush go from last week? We'll just do this guy. It's a Royal Nine Nickel brush, but it's just a, you know, fluffy kind of crease brush because I'm going to come in here like this. We're going to go in with Cheetah Bear, this color right here. You guys can do whatever color you want, but I'm going to do this one. So we're going to, sorry guys, I try to do this by looking, I've got a mirror right here too, but we're just going to put this in the crease. And the reason I'm doing this is to bring some dimension up here and balance out the liner that I just put down. Okay, so since my skin's a little bit fair, that's coming off a little bit strong. So what I'm gonna do now is wipe off that brush, go in with creme brulee up here, which is a little bit lighter, and we're gonna soften up here. So we're basically doing just, you know, putting color in the crease and blending it and smoking it up. Just like that. And do you see how I'm doing? I'm really blending that right there. So keep blending. Let's do the other side. <laughs> I saw someone said I had the pregnancy glow. You have no idea. My, my nausea started kicking in again, you guys. I, I'm technically, I think, third trimester now. Because I'm 27 and a half weeks. I'll be 28 weeks on Monday. And um, man, let me tell you, I'm feeling it. Baby's much bigger getting sick again. I've, I've, I've thrown up a few times this week and I was like, I thought I left this behind in first trimester. I'm so upset. No one told me that this is how this is going to be. And I look at my husband. I'm like, you did this. You did this to me. <laughs> He's like, you'll thank me after the baby comes. I'm like, yeah, after, but right now I'm not feeling it. <laughs> okay. So do you guys see how I'm blending all that? Is that close enough to you guys can see? Yay, hi Glenda, hi Alexandra. I had morning sickness all day. Oh man, that's brutal. Mine was, I felt sick in the morning, but then I wouldn't actually throw up till nighttime. So the only meal that I could get in was lunch. So I had to eat a really, really good lunch because I knew breakfast, I wasn't hungry, I felt crappy. And then dinner, I would throw it up after. Couldn't keep it down, it was horrible. So my poor baby only got nutrition for lunch. Okay, so. It's not perfect and all of that, but you guys get the idea. I just want to show you the technique right in there, okay? So that is that right there. Now, if you want to have fun and do some extra color, you can take that pencil brush again and wipe it off really good on your towel. You can go in with Illuminati, which is this color right here. Sorry, I didn't mean to flip you guys off. And we're going to put some in the inner corner. I'm going to come up just like this. And do you see how it adds some brightness in here? Each step optional is optional depending on how dramatic or whatever that you want it. But you guys know I love dramatic looks, so we're going to keep going. <laughs> and we can touch up this purple too because I started blending over it with the brown. So I realized that I can go back in and touch up the purple a little bit more. So let's try that. Aren't these colors pretty together? The green, the purple, the brown. I really, let me swatch this palette because I really, really like it. Okay, so we're gonna blend that out like that. Let's touch up the purple. So I'm gonna go back in with, um, whew, fuzz. I'm gonna go back in with the purple. Let's touch it up out here a little bit more. Just like that. Do a little more here, just cause it, kind of faded a little bit with me blending it with that big old brush there. Okay. I'm going to take this brush and kind of blend it in here. Does that kind of make sense? <laughs> Just like that. Okay, so let me swatch these shadows for you guys and then we're going to prep our lashes. So one thing that I was going to say, what lashes are we going to do today? Let's try Nicole. Let's try these guys. So these are Nicole and they're very, um, like very flirty. So they're very, you know, full, but do you see how there's little spaces in there? So it's flirty. It's not like a big thing of a lash right there. This is really bothering me right here. You guys see that that's not blended right there. I always have that issue with my eyes because it's sunken in right here. So color can tend to kind of stick in there. If that makes sense, so I always have to just keep blending that. It's really a pain in the butt. I hate that. 
<laughs> All right. So Nicole lashes. Let's actually prep these. And while the glue's sitting there, then I can um, do some swatchy swatches for you guys. So take your tweezers on the end and pull them up like this. I just purchased almost all of the lip products. No complaints, though. <laughs> Let me know how you like them. Let me know what your favorite colors are. Okay. Scissors. Here we go. I'm going to trim the end of the lash. Every time I do lashes, I know I'm repeating myself, but I just for anyone who may have not seen the last two classes, will catch on to how I do lashes. I'm going to cut a little bit on that end right there. So it's a little bit shorter because now it fits my eye a little bit better. So we're gonna put some glue down. Why would you go with a matrix system? It's a little bit confusing. I'll do some more classes on that so it makes sense a little bit more. It's all about playing off of light to dark versus just color. Um, but I will do some more classes using the matrix system versus the palettes because I do wanna explain it a little bit better so it makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna put the glue down. We're gonna set this down. Let's do the other lash. So take your tweezers. Are the, all of the nine shades in that palette um, in the matrix system? Yes, so if you bought the matrix system, they should be in there. Yes, those all should be in there. Okay, so I'm gonna peel off this guy. We're going to do, cut off the edge too. And then we'll do some swatches while we let the glue dry because the key to good lashes is you want to, um, I'm gonna cut off just a little bit of that guy right there. Okay, so the key to lashes is making sure that it fits your eye shape. You cut it down um, and then letting the glue sit for a good minute or so. Woo, that got messy. I hate when it sports out like that. And you're like, no, not all over the lash. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm using the Huda. You know why? Because I'm doing it upside down. So of course it's gonna spill everywhere. Okay. Whew, messy. Okay, we're gonna let this sit so the glue dries a little bit. Let me wipe my finger off and then we'll do some swatches. <laughs> okay, so this is the shadow. So we have So Pale is a creamy white color. I'm gonna put this down. And you guys could create any color combo that you want. I just like showing this one because I really think these colors are pretty. This is Illuminati, it says next to it. The next one is, and I'm just wiping my fingers off on a dry towel, so that way I'm using the same finger. This is creme brulee, which is just a soft kind of warm tan color, and I'm swatching them on my arm here. There's no primer or anything. I'm just doing one, one pass. Did you see that? <laughs> Take the same finger, all of you. <laughs> nice green. <laughs> See what you guys miss when we don't do lives? You miss all the fun stuff behind the scenes. I'm slapping myself with brushes. I'm like dropping glue on myself. <laughs> Let me wipe that off again. <laughs> Thank you for posting tutorials. Yep, hauls and reviews are fun, but you miss watching too. I know, I feel like there's, we, we stopped having fun actually applying makeup. We started having fun buying it, but then we stopped using it. There's that, sorry, I'm like talking too much. Let me hurry up. Hurry up, Marlena, stop blabbing, stop blabbing. <laughs> Back to the fuchsia. I'm doing two swatches on, um, sorry, two swatches, not one. Sorry, because I really want you guys to see these colors. Okay, this is dry skin, no primer. Isn't that a pretty color story? I love this one. When I was putting the colors together and decided this is one of the palettes I want to do, I was like, oh, this is really pretty. Would have never thought to really put these together. Hi, Christopher. <laughs> Christopher is a sweetheart. He does makeup too, he's an artist. So there is the color combination for the Shades of Fantasy. So honestly, you can do a ton of different looks. I'll try to do more tutorials with this for you guys so you get ideas of how to wear it. But it's really beautiful. All the colors go well together. Okay, time to do lashes. Let me grab my wipe so I can wipe off my arm because otherwise it's going to end up on my chest. <laughs> so I'm going to wipe off the swatches there. Okay, let's do our lash. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, glue's not fully ready yet, but what we're gonna do, let me show you my trick. So, like, okay, elbows on the table. You're going to take the edge and the inner part, and we're going to do a little dance with it. We're gonna get it um, get it bent like this while it finishes up the last bit of drying. And then you're gonna grab the tweezers right at the base 
right in the center. Let me flip it so you guys can see. Do you see how the glue is now starting to get black versus a dark gray? That's when you know it's ready. So now you can take your little mirror and we're gonna come down like this. We're gonna drop it on and we're gonna take the edge and drop that on. You are really getting some good sleep, aren't you, lady? And then just let it push it down a little and let it set, let the glue do its thing. Don't be messing around with it. Don't touch it or anything like that. <laughs> okay, let's take this other side. Hi, Olivia. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glowing. It's, um, honestly, my skin's kind of oily today. I'm not sure why. I will show you my, um, yes, data usage. Thank you. <laughs> Next week, you guys, I'm going to hopefully have the camera up and working versus my phone. I almost had it ready for today, but it was it's kind of complicated to set up. So next week, we'll have really high quality videos, hopefully. Okay, the glue is almost done. Let me show you. Still a little bit, needs to be a little bit darker, so we'll just give it one more second. So I have a hard time finding lashes for small eyes. You know which ones I really like? Um... I don't have a new box here. Our, our three-quarter lashes, I have them because I used I used them. These are the mischievous lashes. They're three-quarter lashes. I really like these. I keep forgetting to show them to you guys on camera. But if you have small eyes and you don't want a full thing of lashes, you just want a little touch on the end, dropping that those bad boys on, what it does is it just gives you like a cat eye effect and it just puts lashes on the outer edge so it doesn't close off your eye. So for small eyes, I like those. Okay, could you create lash glue? I'm working on it. I've had so many samples in my office right now and I haven't liked any yet. I keep, I keep trying, <laughs> working on it. Okay. So we're gonna put this inner corner in here. I got a little glue there. So I'm just gonna take the back of the tweezers and push that down. And then I'll show you my other trick with lashes because I don't like to put the lash all the way in here on the tear duct. It's so uncomfortable. It hurts like a mofo. So I don't put them all the way in. I leave it blank. But then you could see this gap where the lash is and where my skin is. So here's my trick. I'm going to get out my, my liquid liner. I'm going to use my Benefit Roller Lash. And I'm just going to pretend like that lash line is continuing to go on. Like the Titanic song. My lash line will go on and on. <laughs> right here. Do you see how I'm joining it? Just like that? Do you see the difference between this lash and this one? Okay, let's do this side. Just have to kind of get in there. It's tricky, because I'm not going to lie. It makes you... It's hard not to blink, make your eyes water, just like that, okay? So that's how we have it. It's a pretty easy, smoky cat eye look, and you can touch it up a little bit more. Let's put lashes, uh, mascara down on the bottom. So I'm going to use the voluminous guy right here. Lady is really going to town on her, her nap right now. Yeah, is that a good good nap? <laughs> Let me look in the mirror. Okay. So, so do you see guys now how with the lashes, the crease color, you've got some pop in here. All of this pulls together. My eyes don't really look heavy anymore because I've lifted them with doing other stuff up here. But again, if you want something quick and easy and you want that um, you know, upside down cat eye effect, you feel like you could pull it off without all the other stuff then do that because it's quicker okay i'm going to show you what i do under the eyes as well i usually touch up a final bit with some matte powder just a touch not a lot <laughs> my hair looks beautiful and healthy any tips i'll show you what i use today um so this brand it's amazing it's called euphora and I get it at the salon, so I'm not sure if you could buy it online, but they have this beautifying serum, and it works really good. Let me show you guys while I let my mascara dry. <laughs> it's a serum like that, 
And then I just rub it in here and my hair is really dry since I lightened it. Let's take this out. So what I do is I just put it on the end. We're doing makeup and hair classes now, you guys. Did you know? <laughs> right? And it just adds some shine in there, but it's not too, too greasy. It's just a serum for the hair. So I really like that. And then what I do is I just take my, you know, my big paddle brush and just kind of brush it in like that. And it smooths it out and it adds a little bit of that shine in there. That's what I kind of did for that. <laughs> what foundation do you have on? I have on... And I'll do my foundation routine soon for a class. So I want to do some um, face techniques and contouring. I want to do some advanced contouring because um, I really think there's some tips that we can all go over together. But I use the Derma Blend Flawless Creator. I'll show you guys how you do it. It's very pigmented, and it, but it has a thin consistency. Do you see the consistency of that? And when we're formulating makeup, it's the viscosity. It has a thin viscosity. So I like that. It really works for older skin because it's so pigmented, but because it's thin, you don't need it. It doesn't make your skin look thick and heavy. So it covers really good. So it covers all of my redness, my freckles, all of that stuff. Um, but it's not heavy and thick. So what I like to do is I take for my face, I just take a buffer brush and I literally just buff it on. And then what I do is I go in with the lighter color like this and I'll touch up with a smaller brush just in here. And that's what I was doing at the beginning of the video. And then what I do is I set everything with powder. So let me get my nose and all of that. I have powder underneath, but this formula is so thin and so lightweight that I can put it over powder and it doesn't cake up. Can you guys see what I'm doing there? I'm going to touch up under my eyes. I'm going to come down here, just like that. Come in here. I like using a small brush like this. I can kind of carve out the cheekbones a little bit. You see that? I like using a small brush. I feel like we, sometimes we use these big old brushes. Like I start pulling out this guy and I'm like trying to do this and it doesn't give you a very chiseled, very detailed look. So then what I do is I take the brush and I wipe it off on my towel because now I want to put it in some powder. And then I pull out my matrix system because I like, you can use eyeshadows for everything. You can use them for blush. You can use them for contouring. You can use them for highlighting. I like using So Pale as my face highlighter. So I take this top guy here and I set it just lightly. You don't want a lot of powder, but you need something under the eyes because it's gonna crease. And I just do that. But I leave all of this um, open for highlight and I'll show you what I do. We'll, we'll do a little extra highlight. <laughs> this is turning into a full, full face tutorial, guys. But it didn't take long to do the eyes at all. So I'm glad that we were good on time. Okay, highlight, same thing. Let's take the, no, that's blush, luster highlight. This one I think we do have at Target. I'm gonna take the same brush. Now you're like, what? Why would I use a, a brush that small? Just trust me, it gives you more control. <laughs> so you're going to take this. This is the luster highlight, like that. Or if you don't want to have separate highlighters, take one of the foiled shadows, that top row right there. For I have fair skin, so I would use one of these. Medium skin in here, deep skin right here. That could be a highlight. So you can use the foiled shadows as highlighters too. And if you guys want colored highlighters, because that's always fun too, if you want to do like a purple here, you can do that. You guys want me to try it? Let's see what it looks like. Let me apply this on this side. Hold on, this side. Do you see that? And I'm just gonna blend it in. It gives me more control. Do you see the, the highlight effect right there? It gives me more control because I'm applying highlight only where I want it. I don't need highlight all over my face. That's when it can look like a disco ball. You look too much. It's too much. <laughs> Let's take the same brush. I'm gonna wipe it off. Let's do the purple one. Let's see what it looks like. If it looks like crap, don't blame me. I'm doing this live. <laughs> take the, this is Daydreamer. And we're gonna take the purple. 
why am I so nervous? I'm like, is this gonna look okay? <laughs> Take it on that brush, let's see what it looks like. Oh, I actually, I kinda like that. I like that. What do you guys think? It's not bad. I just apply it a little bit. Let's do a little more. Let's try this side. Let's do it again. Oh, I like that. Look, I'm doing, I'm learning stuff with you guys as we're doing live. That's so cool. Yes. So there's a purple highlight. So multi-purpose, you guys. These can be foiled eyeshadows. They can be highlighters. These can be blushes and eyeshadows. You can even drop some of them in for a lip. Like if I want to take, because basically what there are, they're super saturated pigment, pigmented shadows. That's basically what it, it's pressed pigments, basically. You see how we're, we're getting our use out of it. That's why I like the matrix system because it has all the colors. You literally can just have fun and it's like you're doing art. You're using it for all sorts of stuff. I hate being stuck in this. Well, you can't wear shimmer because you're over 40 and you can't wear this color because you have this color eyes. Like, no, <laughs> can do it all. Isn't that cool? So look, you did it lip color. What color did I use? Hold on. I used, I used this guy right here. That is, I believe that is, oh, it's back to the fuchsia. Same one in our palette. <laughs> That's really cool. And then what you can do is let me put a little lip oil on. I just use the Elemis oil here just to hydrate the lips because my lips are so dry. Another beautiful sign of pregnancy. <laughs> and there you go. I told you guys, you can use these for everything. I'm telling you, it's not just for the eyes. You can literally use it for, you know what? I'm going to do some blush too. We are going to have some fun. Hold on, let's do some blush. <laughs> Amazing chicks with a smaller brush, right? Yep. <laughs> do you know if you're having a boy or a girl? Yes, we do. I have to talk to my husband to see when we're going to announce it. I'm hoping pretty soon. I do want to do a video on YouTube, just a live, kind of like this, very casual, to let you guys know what we're having. We haven't announced it yet because I'm super paranoid about just everything going smoothly with the pregnancy and that's why we waited a bit to announce that we were even pregnant to begin with because I'm so traumatized by miscarriage in the past and then with knowing what the sex was I was like okay let's make sure I'm past the point where the pregnancy is totally viable so now I'm 27 weeks and if something god forbid happens baby will be okay and we'll still survive so then I was like okay we can we can now be like okay it's a boy or a girl <laughs> I'm gonna do, um, let's do this Pinky Promise one up here. That's the name. Okay, so they are very saturated. So because I have lighter skin, that's gonna be very harsh. So I'm gonna dab some of it off on the hand because I don't want it to be too bright. You can always add more. But do you see, I'm just taking the brush and we're just gonna pat it on the apples of the cheeks and kind of blend it into our bronzer and up there. So that's how you'll do it. So I'm gonna take it again. You can go in with whatever shade that you want. Pick it up on the brush. And we're just going to do it just like that. What was the name of the lip oil? Just any lip oil. It doesn't matter which kind. This is the brand Elemis. I love this brand so much. It's one of my favorite skincare brands. But it's their Pro Definition Facial Oil. Let me hold it up so you guys can see right there. It's a beautiful oil. You can see how much I love it because I use it for everything. If you have dry skin or mature skin and your foundation is looking thick and dry, that's another thing that I do too to get this dewiness, you guys, is I put I use oils every day. I put it under my moisturizer. If I am still dry and I'm getting ready to put my foundation on, I'm getting ready to buff it, and I feel like, like my forehead gets really dry. I don't know if you could see that. I put a layer of oil down, and what I do is I just, um, where's my brush? The same brush I do the foundation with, I just put a, a couple drops on here, like that, and then I start to buff it into the skin. And it absorbs in the skin really good, so it just absorbs like that. And I even do it on the, my hands too, because I'm, I'm just so, so dry all the time. <laughs> so let me answer some questions for you guys now that the look is complete, the upside down cat eye. Now that we know what eye shape we have, 
keep this in mind because I'm going to do a class on this later and we're going to do very detailed instructions on how to do your makeup to fit your eye shape. So for sure. <laughs> Love Elemis is giving me healthier skin, right? Right? Yes. <laughs> am I making dinner tonight? Yes, I am. I don't know what I'm making, Vanessa, but I will make sure to post it on Instagram. I It's probably going to be something with chicken because my husband um, loves chicken. And I've had a lot of beef this week because baby is loving beef right now, but I'm eating a little too much of it. It's, it's a kind of an issue right now. <laughs> so I'm going to try to have chicken. <laughs> But whatever I'm cooking, I'll post it on Instagram so you can see what I'm having for dinner. <laughs> How do lashes make a difference? Lashes help lift the eyes sometimes because it's it's adding darkness and it's bringing length like this. So it can make the eyes look bigger. So I feel like that's the biggest difference it makes. And it can sometimes pull look together because you have all this color going on. But with this darkness here, it kind of grounds it. So yeah, <laughs> are you visiting Paris after baby? Hell yes, I was supposed to go to Paris for my 40th birthday and because I was pregnant, I'm not complaining. I had it planned, I was gonna go see my friend Helen, my friend Nina, and I was gonna go to Paris for a good week for my 40th birthday. I was so freaking excited because my birthday's right after Christmas. I was like, cool, I'll stay for New Year's and all of that. But then when I got pregnant, I was like, I do not feel comfortable leaving the country, especially with my health issues and it being a high-risk pregnancy. So I canceled the trip. So I'm praying that for my 41st birthday, the whole fam bam, me, baby, and husband are gonna go to Paris. <laughs> See if mom wants to go too. <laughs> Any chances you found a place to sell in Canada? I'm working on it. I am working on it. <laughs> when is the palette coming back? It should be back. I'm hoping within eight weeks we place to PO. It just takes a bit for production. So as soon as production is done, we will get them right back on the site. So um, we're working on it. We ordered the more. <laughs> Was your pregnancy planned? Somewhat, yes. We've been trying for a year and a half. It took a long time time to to get pregnant again so oh your birthday is the 26th Allison yep mine's the 27th what lashes do I have on I have on shoot which ones do I have oh the Nicole they're the the full mink ones these are our more um higher line I guess lashes they feel very soft they feel like mink but they're full mink so those are Nicole that's these guys right here don't forget us in Egypt please yes I want to go to Egypt sometime too is the scotch tape on your eyes bad for them? No, but make sure when you guys put the tape down that you put it on the back of your hand a couple times because it can be sticky. So you don't want it to be super, super sticky. So just put it on your hand a couple times to kind of help it not get so tacky and then put it down and then just be gentle when you peel it off. So what helps hide big pores the best? Aries is asking. I feel like primers can help with it some a um silicone based one but be careful not everyone likes having silicone just make sure you wash it off at night um it what it does is it's a kind of thick layer and i don't I haven't used primers as much lately do i have one in here um i don't the Too faced primer has is a silicone based one a dimethicone when you look at the ingredient deck it'll say dimethicone on the back those generally are good for patting over the pores because it leaves a layer on top of the skin and then you can put stuff on top of it. So I'd say that's probably my best. So yes. <laughs> have you chosen a baby name? I have. I'll tell you guys when we announce the gender of the baby. So we have a name picked out. I'm really excited. So yes. <laughs> what concealer do you recommend? Ollie's asking. I really like um, the Airborean. This is another favorite brand of mine. I'm obsessed with this. My friend Helen got this for me. And then Raphael, he's um, in Paris too. So when I was in Paris, I got to meet with Airborian and they have this CC eye cream. Oh my gosh. It's a, it's a concealer. Let me show you guys this magic. So look, it comes off white, but wait for this magic. Wait for this magic. It blends, look at that. It changes color and it turns into the color of your skin. Is that not the coolest stuff you've ever seen? So I really like that. You don't have to use it just under your eyes, but it's meant, it's marketed for using under your eyes. It's their CCI concealer. That's probably my favorite concealer right now. It's amazing. I really like that. Will you be getting a tattoo this year? I know. <laughs> this one was my last one. It hurt so freaking bad. I was drenched in sweat 
And I was dying. My cousin and I went with me, my cousin, Jessica, she was like a trooper. She was getting a tattoo. She was just sitting still. And I was like having to pause. I'm like sitting back and forth. I'm wheezing. I'm sweating. It hurts so bad. So after that, I was like, I'm good. <laughs> Yes. What was the name of the concealer? The Airborean. I'll leave this up so you guys can screenshot it. It's the Airborean CCI. And the color I used was Door. They have a lighter one and they have a darker one. This is the middle shade. So that's the one. Tiffany, I keep asking questions. What's your, tif what's your question, Tiffany? <laughs> Annika, is this your first baby? It is. Well, sort of. I had a miscarriage in 2018. Um, it obviously didn't follow through. So my first actual giving birth to baby, yes. <laughs> I <laughs> Tattoo's painful. Uh, thanks so much, Michelle. All right. Well, I am going to end the class there. Next week, you guys, we're doing a, will mug ever be available for salon professionals to sell in salons? Possibly, but not anytime soon because there's so much product development I need to finish first before putting it in salon. So it's a good question. It may happen, just not for the next couple years or so because I really want to focus on Makeup Geek Online, our relationship with Target, international distribution, and then consider the um, the salon route. So yeah. <laughs> Your Instagram account is Marlena Stell. So it's just M-A-R-L-E-N-A-S-T-E-L-L. -L. That's, that's my personal Instagram. <laughs> Uh, hi, Margie. Hi, Ramasur. Hi, Lu Louisander TV. Allison, Allison Nana, <laughs> baby face. <laughs> Anyways, next week, you guys, we are doing watercolor makeup. I am going to show you how to take your actual powder eyeshadows and you're going to mix it with a mixing medium. So if you guys have a chance this week and go shopping, try to get some sort of mixing medium. A lot of brands have that. We do not right now. Makeup Geek doesn't. Uh, Makeup Forever has one called an Aquasil. You can use that. Mayron has a mixing liquid, something like that. So um, we're going to take that and we're going to take some powder shadows. We're going to turn it into watercolors and we're going to do a really cool um, watercolor eye. So that is our class for next week. That's an intermediate to advanced class, but really, really fun. Let me show you some really cool like techniques where you're pretty much doing like wet eyeshadow on the eyes and doing like a watercolor technique. That's really cool. It's not, not wearable for every day necessarily, but really fun. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I will see you next Thursday, 11 a.m on YouTube for our live class. And um, I will keep this video up so anyone not here on live can still watch it. So thanks you guys, have a good week, bye.